Can you share specific strategies or best practices that have proven effective in building resilient IT project portfolio in your experience? Yes. So uh, effective strategies and best practices would be uh, aligning with the organizational strategy, uh, regular balancing of the portfolio, uh, having risk management, portfolio management plan, keeping up with industry best practices and standards, and a communication and communication management. So having diverse organizational goals and objectives uh, will be uh, you know, creating a, a vision for the portfolio and, and creating a vision for the portfolio that aligns with your organizational goals and objectives. Um, regular balancing of the portfolio helps to maintain um, asset allocation and minimize risks. Uh, having a risk management plan and assessing potential internal and external risks that could affect the portfolio. Uh, this can help increase the organizational resilience and aid with decision making. A uh, portfolio management plan that includes process and procedures uh, to accommodate uh, unplanned projects, your fly ins, uh, to uh, include reprioritization and realignment of your resources. Um, also, uh, addressing being able to address strategic change uh, and what I mean by that is uh, a strategic change could be an example could be uh, there was a security issue uh, at uh, other local businesses now the security issue didn't affect your business but understanding that there are uh, cyber issues happening out there to other organizations you might want to reprioritize and uh, take a moment to assess your current security situation and uh, uh, to ensure that you uh, would cause or have any issues uh, that the other uh, areas are experiencing. So this would cause a shift in your portfolio uh, if you were to pull some resources to just kind of address a situation like that. So that's an example of strategic change. Um, a communication plan, um, you know, managing uh, expectation uh, with the organization and your stakeholders. Uh, because it is just so important to have management buy-in of the portfolio process. Uh, I'm sure everybody uh, has experienced, um, uh, you know, uh, just how difficult it is to manage when executive management is continuing to ask for things and not understanding the impact it'll have on the current portfolio and funding. Because, you know, they, they all want you to continue what you're doing and just add this one more thing. Just, just this one more thing. Just this little thing. Yeah, yeah. But it has that, uh, it, it's going to impact your, your portfolio and your funding. And it's never just one more thing, really. Yeah.